Okay, Devin Haney versus Ryan Garcia. I think Garcia is going to have more success in this fight than he did against Tank Davis, or at least he'll last longer, for a couple of reasons. Number one, because he's more familiar with Devin Haney than he was with Tank Davis. He fought Haney six times in the amateurs and they've sparred. I'm not sure how many rounds Garcia has shared with Tank Davis outside of their professional fight, but I can't imagine it's anywhere near as many rounds as he shared with Devin Haney. So there's the familiarity. And number two, I don't think Devin Haney punches as hard as Tank Davis. And I think that will allow Ryan Garcia to be more aggressive, to let his hands go more often. Because if you remember, prior to getting dropped the first time, Garcia was actually quite aggressive against Tank Davis. But that knockdown put him in his box. And he was a lot more cautious after that, which allowed Tank Davis to control him and break him down. I suspect in this fight, Garcia will taste a bit of Devin Haney's power in the opening few rounds and perhaps won't be too impressed by it. Maybe he'll be getting outboxed and his team will get onto him to step things up and start taking chances. And I do think he'll have some degree of success because he is very athletic. He's very fast, got quicker hands than Devin Haney. I don't think his arms are as long. So I think Haney probably will control things on the outside. But if Ryan Garcia can get into that middle distance and time that left hook, he may be able to have success. With that being said, I do expect Devin Haney to win this fight. I will give Ryan Garcia maybe a 35% chance. I think the likelihood is this fight goes late, at least nine rounds, I would have thought. And if I had to pick between a late stoppage for Haney and a points win, I'd probably go with a points win. I think Ryan Garcia is a bit too dangerous with his fast hands and his punching power for Devin Haney to push for a knockout. When Haney fought Regis Progre, who could also punch, despite dropping him in the fight, he really didn't push the issue and try and go for a finish. And that's against a much older guy, not as fast as Ryan Garcia, not as tall as Ryan Garcia, not as athletic. So I reckon Haney will stay disciplined and as I say, probably take it to the cards and win a UD. But if he does get sloppy in the fight, there is the chance he gets clipped with a big Ryan Garcia left hook, gets wobbled, maybe even gets put down. And if that does happen, it opens the door for a Ryan Garcia victory. It may change the complexion of the fight if an incident like that occurred. It may force Devin Haney to switch up his game plan, fight differently, and allow Ryan Garcia to build on that success. So I'm certainly not counting Ryan Garcia out. I think it will be foolish to do so because of his, again, hand speed and punching power and how familiar he is with Devin Haney. But long story short, yeah, I got Haney in this one. I'm going to say on points. Let me know who you've got in the comment section below.